we're back. It's the Rideshare Reseller Mike here. And I'm going to give you 10 more items that I've sold here in the past just to give you a, you know, something to look at and do it pretty quickly here. This will be a shorter video, won't be too long. I uh, just want to say, hey, thank you again for watching. If you guys like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate that too. So anyhow, let's get right into it. We're going to just do the 10 right off the bat. Interesting. Here's one. Uh, who would have thought, you know, Sirius XM radio, right? That kind of thing. But uh, this was a Sportster Replay satellite radio car kit. This was a Savers find. And it sold for $66.55. And as I remember, I believe I paid about 9 bucks for this item. $9.00. As you can see, I really love savers. You know, if you guys uh, have seen me, I, I originally started out with a lot of Goodwill, and I still do a lot of Goodwill, but I really like uh, savers much more. Savers is more uh, intuitive. It takes the items and puts them on the floor. It doesn't do e-commerce, so you know that's why I like savers so much. If it goes in that back door, it's coming out to the front, no matter what. They're going to get rid of it unless it's broken. So that's why you tend to find, at least I do, a ton of great stuff at this particular Savers. Right now, this one was from my Honey Hole Thrift Store. Uh, I bought two of these, and I think this is the second one I sold. But anyhow... Um, I remember I paid a bun uh, there was a bundle of stuff. There was an army pot, this, and another one of these, and there was one other item. And I think I paid like 20 bucks for the whole lot. So this is a cast iron waffle maker. It flips and spins, which is pretty cool. $63.71, and the buyer paid $20 shipping. Old cast iron, you know, key is old cast iron, not lodge, you know, maybe it's older lodge, but this new lodge stuff that's all out there, that, that's not worth much at all. Griswold is probably the name that's the most, uh, uh, most well known. Right now, uh, this is, uh, this was pretty cool. You don't see many of these around in California, not a lot of gunsmiths around here, but at least in my area. And this was a Tipton uh, gun vise. It was $9.99 at the, this was at Hope Thrift. And I sold it for $77.35. No room here. This was pretty much where it sat at. It couldn't get $99. It was going to sell for right around $70 to $85, no more, with the shipping. Because you could still kind of get these. So it was an easy flip. You know, 9 into like 75 I made good money on it. And this is another another interesting find. Little bobblehead, San Francisco Giants, uh, Marvel's Avenger, Incredible Hulk. These are six ninety nine, and this was probably a Goodwill, as I remember, Goodwill. And flipped it for fifty. Um, that's about where this one sits, fifty to sixty. So simple, you know, seven bucks into fifty. These are all those giveaway bobbleheads. So the unique ones uh, tend to do a little bit better. Uh, where they're not just them, where they're maybe dressed in a costume or something like that, then you can really make some decent money on some of these bobbleheads. I've sold some bobbleheads for over $100, so you know finding the right bobblehead is, is key. And uh, when you do, you kind of know it. You just look at it and you know, yeah, this has got some value. Okay, this one is very, very unique most people wouldn't touch this at all just because of the size of it and i didn't know what it was first it's called the bulgarian bag by supples genuine leather and this thing weighed 26 pounds it's a workout fitness some kind of bag that uh is popular in bulgaria and you know people use it here so there was definitely some some uh, people who would use this now it took me a, a little while what i mean by a little while probably about a month but this guy sold for $60, but the kicker was I had $60 of shipping. And it only cost me like 30 bucks because of it was dimensionally smaller than you'd think. I could resize the box. So I made a little money on the shipping. And like I said, I think I paid 11 to $14. It was in that range. I received positive feedback. 
pretty simple ship if you think about it. it as long as you get this in the box, it's not going to break. It's leather. It's pretty, pretty stout. So I'm not afraid. That's 26 pounds shipped. All right, pair of simple Ariat men's boots that I picked up, I believe, at a garage sale. Uh, I didn't pay more than like nine. I think I paid ten. I think I paid ten. I might have tried to get this guy down, but I couldn't. And I paid ten. They were in pretty good shape and uh, sold for sixty dollars plus twelve ninety five shipping. So um, you know, pretty straightforward. I'm selling more shoes, like I've always said. Uh, I've got several sales. I've got two today for shoes. Another airplane. Here we go. Finally got rid of one of these. I'm down to two because I sold one of the airplanes today. So my lot of 16 is down to two. Um, originally, I purchased the lot of 16 for uh, $20 each, so $280, I think it was, $280 total. And most sold over 100 A couple sold over 200 and a few sold under a hundred. So I don't know exactly, but I made a really, really good uh, amount of money off every one of these airplanes and I'm down to like two. Uh, so model airplanes, and I think the reason why I sold another one today is, hey, people are looking for something to do inside. Let's put together a model airplane, right? All right, some more shoes just to show you. Here you go. These are really cool. And these were no more than $8.99, as I remember, at a Goodwill. These look brand new to me. I mean, they didn't look like they were used. But, uh, you know, I let my pictures speak for themselves. So I show the photos and say, hey, look, I uh, can't say they're new. But take a quick look. I think you're going to agree that they probably are kind of thing. And $67.50 and $13.95. I find that shoe sizes is really uh the key here anything from like i think a nine to a eleven and a half twelve is solid pretty solid gold start getting up to 13 so a little trickier smaller size is a little trickier but if you've got nine and a half ten and a half eleven and a half that kind of thing uh, pretty much that's a big area for shoes so look for size too All right, this was a pickup of at the flea market, and I bought a bunch of these. Now, I don't remember exactly how much, but I know they came out to about $5 each model, but I bought a bunch. So this one sold for $60, uh, shipped for $12.95, an old vintage model. My friend Brian, he, uh, he knows models, and he's really good at it. So this is my first big model score where I bought, you know, 10 or 15 of them all at once and, and made good money off them. I think I'm down to about three models left out of that whole bunch. So pretty cool. All right, one more item for this round of 10. Here it is. This is another one of those one of those models. So this one here was not, this was, you know, if you average it out, this one cost me five. This was a shuttlecraft and it sold for $19.85 and the buyer paid $7.65 shipping. So I had some lower and higher ones. But I did have, I believe, two other ones that were sort of like this that got me 40 each and were really simple to, to ship. So this one went, you know, I think uh, in a poly bag wrapped up and I just make sure that they, you know, get wrapped up really nice. And you can get them sometimes under first class, which is, you know, five, six bucks you'll, you'll move them out for. So there you go. A few more. Like I said, I just threw them in there. I don't know what's in there. I'm just popping them up and there they come. All right, guys, it's uh, great to, to do another video for you. Um, at least I've been able to do some videos while my uh, while the time we, we, we wait for this coronavirus to clear. So hope you guys stay safe again. Uh, keep busy. Do something every day. List something every day if you can. Try to find something every day if you can. And uh, get outside and walk around. Don't be afraid to, you know, walk up and down your street. Go to a, something. Just get get some get some sunshine. All right. So anyhow, hey, thanks again. Thanks for watching.